I did a video that may be a little outdated at this point. I think it was probably back in 2017, 2018. Probably it was 2018. I can't remember the exact date. Um, but it was about CRST's training program, right? And I spoke on, excuse me, I spoke on going to the school. I spoke on my experience. Was it worth it? And <clears throat> I still get a lot of hits on that video. And a lot of people still ask me a lot of questions. So I just want to address some of those questions um, on a more updated video. Um, <laughs> it's simple. Nothing has changed about my opinion on CRST. Absolutely nothing. I have, you know, actually, you know, and then another main reason why I'm speaking on this, I just had a cousin, um, a close cousin of mine, go through the program. He was trying to get into another CDL school um, where he lives down in Carolina, North Carolina, that is. Um, and <clears throat> they was giving him a lot of runaround. They was giving him a lot of run around. They kept pushing his start date back. And he was just ready to go. And see, that's the thing about trucking. When you have decided that you are going to come into this chaotic industry. It's, I guess is the best way I can put this industry. Not a bad thing. Not a good thing. It's just a chaotic industry. You have to act on that right then and there. Because if you don't, you're not going to do it or you're not going to follow through. And that's just with most things in life. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith. And that's what CRST was for me. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking about going to CRST or, or, or a similar type of situation, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to take a leap of faith. Here's why. You, ain't, you don't have anything. If you are even considering Going to this school, it's because you have no money or very little, and you've probably already been told no at least twice by two other companies, or maybe this is the first company you reached out to. If that's the case, hey, call some other companies. Call Swift. Call Prime. Call CR England. You know what I mean? See what other options are out there. But I will tell you that CRST is going to do exactly what they said they're going to do. They're going to put you on the bus for anywhere from a day to two days. So be prepared for that. Because a lot of people don't speak on that. I don't see damn near no videos on that. That bus ride is going to tell you a lot about yourself. Wherever you're coming from. I came from Richmond, Virginia and rode a bus all the way to Cedar Rapids, Iowa took me about 40 hours if you include the rest times 40 hours okay that bus ride is going to teach you a lot about yourself because that bus ride is going to be long it's going to be tiring your leg going to probably die on you twice you're going to bring it back to life you're going to fight off damn near every disease that you can think of because you're on a a, a 53 foot tube with no air coming in or out for the most part. It's disgusting. Greyhound, traveling by bus is probably one of the most uncomfortable, disgusting ways to travel in 2020. But you know what? You have no other choice, so you're going to do what you got to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll get out there. They're going to bring you out there. They're going to put you in training. Um, they're going to get you your DOT physical done. They're going to get your CDL permit test done. And they're going to get you your CDL in a two to three week window once you finish your CDL permit exam, which only takes three days from the day you show up. CRST is going to do everything that they're telling you on the phone that they're going to do. The question is, are you willing to do what you are need to do to get your CDL from this program? No matter if you're a woman, a man. Uh, whatever your situation is, they don't care. They are going to get you there and get your CDL. You have to be willing to make the sacrifice, though. You have to have the mindset 
and be ready to go out there to do what you need to do. If you think you finna go out there and chill and go sightsee in Iowa, even though who the fuck sightsees in Iowa, excuse my French, you know what I'm saying? You think you're going to go out there, meet some girls, you think you're going to go out there and drink, you're going to go out there and chill, don't even get on the bus, don't even call them. You're going to waste your time, you're going to be disappointed, and you're going to be stranded in Iowa trying to get back to wherever the hell you're from. It's just not going to happen. But if you're going out there and you're ready to work, you're ready to put the time in, you know, you don't mind being the first to raise your hand. You don't mind kissing a little bit of butt from time to time in school because you're going to have to when you're in a room with 60 people and you're trying to stand out. You got to do what you got to do. You don't have anything. If you're like, oh, I don't want to kiss butt. I don't want to. And guess what? When you don't have nothing, you got to do what you got to do to get something. And the more, and the more you get, then you can kind of stand on, oh, I'm not going to stand for this. You know what I'm saying? That, that kills me. Don't nothing kill me more than a mug who don't have nothing but try to act like they have it all, right? Shut up. Straight up. <laughs> you don't have anything. You know what I mean? But anyways, so as far as CRST goes, man, it is worth it. I don't I don't see no other way of saying it. My cousin went out there. He got the runaround from another company. The time it was going to take for that company to get him, just get him to school, he went to CRST, got trained, passed, and is almost done training with his mentor. Like that. And, and I know the main thing everybody wants to know, money. Man, listen, let me explain something to you, dog. Don't ask nobody about no money in trucking your first year. That should be a universal rule. I might have to do a separate video about that and, and, and post that at a later date. I like here, We should make that a universal rule in trucking. Nobody should be able to ask about pay until at least a year of experience. Period. Because, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, what, what are you going to do? What do you have to, again, if you don't have anything... What do you have to, oh, man, I don't want to make 45000 I want to make fifty five. dollars well, You ain't got no experience, fool. You know what I'm saying? So don't go out there asking CRST how much they're going to pay you. Don't go out there trying to look for the best situation because it's, it's not. CRST is probably one of the worst trucking companies out there, in my opinion. But guess what? They're going to get you your CDL. And right now, that's all you're trying to do. That's all you're trying to do. You got to break it down to, to baby steps, as Dave Ramsey would say. You know, y'all listen when the white dude say it. You know what I mean? Baby step one, find a school that'll take me. Baby step two, get my ass to that school. Baby step three, get through that school. Baby step four, get through the, 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 the orientation. Baby step five, find a decent mentor. Baby step six, survive the th next 30 to 90 days or however long it is for per company with that mentor. Baby step seven, get a decent first truck. Get in my truck. Baby step eight, learn that truck. Baby step nine, don't kill nobody. Perfect my craft. Become a better truck driver. And then baby step 10, which should be right around the one year mark, because baby step one through nine is going to take about a year. Then at baby step 10, you can start, okay, driving for my worth. Because in, in that first 12 months of having a CDL, you're not worth anything, pretty much. I mean, that's not trying to be uh, disrespectful, but it's just the truth. You're not worth, I'm not going to say you're not worth anything. You're not worth a lot. You're not. You're not worth more than $40,000 a year. You're just not. And that's pretty much what a lot of these companies be telling you with their application process. When they say at least one to two years or have to have this, they're telling you if you don't have this, you're not worth it to us. Just That's just, that's just what it is, man. So to get back on topic, CRST is still one of the best ways to get out here and get your CDL quickly. Um, and then at what you do after that, that's on you, man. It is. It's, it's on you. Um, I've made a lot of mistakes in my trucking career, but at the end of the day, I wouldn't have what I have now if I wouldn't make that leap of, leap of faith going to CRST. You know what I mean? Hopefully 
your trucking career will go a little smoother than mine has because a lot of mine was self-inflicted. You know what I mean? Um, so hopefully you will have a better plan. You'll have more consistency in the decisions that you make. But as far as that first decision, as far as getting the CDL and going to CRST, that's the best thing you can do, man. If you even if you if, if you even have to consider it, do it for this instance. In any other instance, I would tell you to, you know, make sure, you know, you did that now. When it comes to getting that CDL, man, and you ain't got nothing going on, them taxes starting to run out, come get this CDL, man. I don't know what else to tell you. I wish I could have got my cousin up here and, and interviewed him about the process. Maybe I'll try to in the future. Um, next time we have a family gathering. Um, but I, I stand on that, man. That's one of the few things in trucking that I stand on. Get, get, get in a CDL school, get get that joint, and if you want to stay with that cup, be cool. If you don't, get the hell up out of there. You, I ain't never say you got to stay and work for CRST. I just say you need to go there and get your CDL. What you do, I want you to get that CDL in your pocket. That's on you. You a grown man, grown woman. You make your own decisions in life. You know what I mean? But as far as getting that CDL, hey, man, do what you got to do. Let's go. That's all I got. So... For all them people asking me all these questions about CRST, do they do drug tests? Do they do hair follicle? Do they do this? Do they do that? Man, listen, go there and find out. You asking the wrong questions. Go there and find out. Period. Because a lot of the questions that you guys ask me about CRST are so small and insignificant. CRST probably don't even care. Except for like maybe the, the the hair follicle. To my knowledge, they do the piss test. According to my cousin, they still do the piss test. Okay. Um, unless you go in that bitch with HIV or one lung, you're gonna pass the DOT physical. It's their doctors. Think about that. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know what to tell you, man. No excuses. No excuses. Go out there and get it, man. Period. As always, stay safe, stay positive, stay productive, man. God family trucking. Check your next video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, man. I'm out.